you are back here because you want more of those graphic design tips and today we are going to talk about how to use math in the other app and of course once i'm going to explain to you what is mask and how to use it i will show you how to remove some background with it and how to make your own mock-up let's get into my beautiful and awesome intro <music> Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back. My name is Justine Lamer. If you are new here and it's the first time you see me, welcome here on YouTube. I love to talk about graphic design and social media. So if you're into that kind of content and videos, don't forget to subscribe down below. We can get started. All right, so grab you a cup of coffee because we're going to talk graphic design and we're going to talk about the other app so i do believe if you are here you kind of know what is the other app because you want to know what or how to use math the other app is a graphic design app i do love use it the most on my ipad i think this is extremely practical and you can do so much with it. I am using the Over Pro subscription. I pay $99 a year, but I believe that if you want to use only a couple of their features, the free version will work wonders. What is mask? What does it mean? My definition of mask will be that's an eraser right it erase stuff that you are using on your layers so if you have a um, couple of layers and one of those layers are an image and you don't like the background of it you can erase it using mask now i'm going to give you the definition that over is using on their website over says mask means hide areas of a layer revealing the image underneath great for hiding pesky background items or making text stand out we are going to go into my ipad so i'm going to show you i'm going to film my ipad and i'm going to show you who is the cutest animal in the world you guys want to see oh my goodness oh no look at him hi Hello, you're too cute. I'm going to go into over that is over there. So to do so, I'm just gonna go in transparent, choose for any sizing. All right, here we are. Here is your layers, all right? You have no layer right now. So we are going to add an image. So I'm gonna take this lady and I'm going to resize it. And if you slide over there, you can go into mask. So this is what we are talking about today. I'm going to explain to you how to use it. So this one is selected. If the circle is full, that means this is the way you can erase with a sharp edge. This one with a little blue when I'm going to erase, it's going to give me a really smooth edge. This one, the circle that is not full, this is basically undo what you've done with that same smooth edge edge and that one as you might already figure it out this is to restore with sharp edge there is two ways to come back from masking something and unmasking it if you are masking something and you're making a mistake like this you can either go back so go back and you're good or if you do something like that and you don't want to go back because you already done all that work you can just go there undo and fix it so now we are going to remove the background and so here as you can see when you mask this layer you are seeing the transparency on the back but let's say we are taking a new image let's say we want some paper and we get this paper effect yeah let's resize it and put this paper under the picture in that case when we are going to mask our lady here we are going to reveal the paper that we put on the back if i'm putting the paper on top and mask this layer we are going to reveal that lady so you are going to take the mask the full circle with sharp edges see how big is that circle like you cannot go in any details if you zoom you can zoom like extremely close when you zoom your circle is little so you will be able to go really into the details to take off the background of it. There 
you go. You only have her. You can always go back and make it a little bit smoother or use this one and make smooth edges. Once you're done, check mark. And if you want to save only her and so put her anywhere else on any other background, you will save your work in PNG. Next, I'm going to show you how to make a mock-up. This is basically the same. We're going to do the same thing. But we're going to use some of the images that Over is offering that is free from Unsplash or from Pixabay. So I'm going to remove this girl. And now we're going to go into Pixabay and maybe tap Mocha. Here we are. So let's take, for example, this screen over here. Sounds pretty good. Resize it to have only the computer. So what you want to do is to be able to put something on the back of this. So if we take an image, for example, an image, I don't know, whatever, this image, you're going to do this and you're going to bring this image underneath our computer. Now we're going to select the computer and go into mask. Here we are going to go right away into those edges and zoom. And we're going to do exactly the same thing as to remove the background. So you can go and zoom and zoom and zoom until you get this corner. You don't want to mess up the corners. Also, I'm using an Apple Pencil right now, but you can totally use your finger. It works the same way. a walk but when you wanna you know add some of your website or you want to do an ad or something and you want to use a mock-up even a picture of you on computer etc this is the way to do so like this is the best way to make your own mock-up with a picture of your phone a picture of your ipad all right guys i hope that after watching this video over mask as no more secret for you if you have any question please let me know down below i will be happy to help if there's something that you didn't understand if you like this video please press that like button it will really help me out <laughs> That sentence was really hard to say. If you learned something today and you enjoy watching what I was teaching you, subscribe to my channel to never miss any of my future uploads. And until next time, take care. Thank you again for watching. Bye.